So I'm joined by uh, Eduardo uh, Villanueva, who's the producer of the Oscar-nominated short film uh, Madre, or Mother. And uh, thank you very much for, for joining us. Thanks to you. Thank it's you. Uh, a pleasure to be here. Um, so first of all, uh, congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. It's wonderful to hear that word so many times in the last few days. <laughs> Yeah. Um, how did you find out uh, that we were uh, nominated to the Oscar? Uh, yeah, mean? yeah. Well, we were in fact we were all the team together because we are uh, we have just produced the feature film which continues the story of the short films, mm. and we were in the first screening of the feature film, and it was a screening for all the producers, and we were all there. And then after the screening, we just, everybody was uh, like uh, uh, online uh, seeing the, the, the announcement, mm. the official announcement. And so it was a really, really great moment. Um, so are, are you flying out to LA soon for all of the, you know, Oscar events? Yes, I'm flying like three times uh, in February. I have, I would like to be like, the whole February there, but the fact is I'm quite busy here in Spain, so I cannot spend all the time there. I, I'm going to go now for the Oscar luncheon, yeah, and then be back to Spain, and then again for one week for some press interviews and screenings and all that stuff, and then back again, and then back again for the for the Oscar awards. So I, I guess the reason you're going to the Oscars is for your short film uh, Mother, which tells the story in real time of a young boy who is separated from his mother and I just wanted to ask what what made you feel like the film needed to be told in real time as opposed to it being I guess a, a sort of slicker more edited film well uh this should be a question more for Rodrigo the director than me but in fact I know him very well he's a friend of mine and well, this story was written like eight years ago, and it is only in 2016 that he finally, well, we finally managed to produce it. And uh, well, the thing is, uh, it it has always been a, 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 um, a real time story, you, you know, uh, from from the moment that you read the script. But I think Rodrigo's career uh, has grown up uh, very much in the last years. And he has managed to to, to be like a, a a great master of the continuous shot. Mm. So he knows very well how to use it, how to to use the wide angle cameras. And well, I think he has found like the perfect way of telling this particular story. When he told us, uh, we were completely sure that it's it was going to be just great. Mm. So did. Did Rodrigo uh, write the film and then get you involved, or did you find the script and then uh, get Rod Rodrigo involved? No, he wrote the script, uh, as I told you, uh, eight or ten years ago, but neither his career nor mine uh, was at the point we are right now. Mm. We have been mates for a long time, and we had this our production company, Caballo Films, uh, we are both partners with other two mates in, in this company. But the thing is, we were all working in different other pro production companies. Uh, and it's like two, three years ago that then we started really pushing really hard with our company. And Rodrigo's career was at that time in a very good place. And it was easy for us to to raise the money for the fundings for for the short film, and well, as I tell you, I I, I knew of this story uh, like a lot of years ago. We had tried to to produce it eight years ago, but we were unable to do so. Uh, we were not really uh, experts in in producing films, and um, and well, it was like perfect payment a couple of years ago. So. Did it take two years to get the film made? No, 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 no. It was produced like two years ago, and then it started all the all the way the uh, the tour of festivals. First of all, in Spain, mm. and then worldwide, 
and then no it was made really quickly uh it was in, in between the the shooting of of two films of two feature films and he found like a gap of two months and we went for it we raised the money and he shot it and we edited it no it was really really quick only that it has uh, it has uh, spent a lot of time since 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 we shot it until now and it's like the perfect uh end of our journey i guess for uh, short films you you have quite a long process of of getting it out there and getting it into festivals right yes yes it is a uh, quite a long uh, process uh well we, uh, in fact this we had produced a, a very small feature film before but it was our first short film and and uh, our distribution company, which is Madrid and Cordo, uh, took the film, and they have a very good uh, knowledge of how festivals, uh, tour, market works. And well, it was all perfect. As I tell you, it was like one year only in, in Spain, and then the next year internationally, mm -hmm. and then we are here. Yeah. So, I mean, one of the things that I really liked about the film was. Uh, just how how tense it was and and how uh, how real it it felt um and i just wondered if you had a lot of rehearsal time to to get that sense of realism or if that sort of stemmed from just kind of doing it no it has a lot of rehearsal well if i tell you that the 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 um, all the real sense the real feeling of of the of the of the short film starts from the script because in fact it comes from a real life event, of course, not with that ending, not not so tragic. But mm. a friend of him, uh, she she, well, she lived the situation. Her son called. Uh, he was alone at the beach, and it was like thirty seconds, one minute, of real anguish and panicking. Mm. And then he wrote it, the story, the way it is right now. And then when it came to produce it, uh, well, it was like one week rehearsal only with the actresses and then one whole day rehearsal with also the cameras and the all the technicians and then the last day for the shooting the whole day for 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 obtaining the the one perfect shot that 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 is finally on, on the which is the the, the short film hmm. i just wondered uh and it, it's always been something I've, I've i've thought about because i'm a terrible actor myself uh, when uh, when you're filming a phone conversation, uh, do you have someone talking to the actor at the other end, or do you do you just do they just are they just good actors? <laughs> I guess. Uh, no, you so uh, we have someone talking to the phone on the other side. Yeah, uh, we, we try both things because you know if you, if you take a look at the short film, uh, there are times where where both uh, voices overlap, the 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 uh, mainly the police voice mm. uh, overlaps with her. Yeah. But so uh, obviously uh, at some times she has to be able to do it without anyone uh, telling her anything. But it is always better for the actor or the actress in this case to have uh, someone on the other side or well or just in the in, in the room yeah. like guiding her through all this process so uh once the film was was made uh, did you what 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 has the reception been like like internationally because foreign language films i i imagine are harder to to sell to english audiences uh yes uh i guess so uh what can i tell you i must tell I, I we have been very lucky or well very lucky uh i think it's a great uh, masterpiece the short film so uh, it has gone very well on, on in in the festival tours and uh well it is difficult to 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 sell it you know like uh, to distribute it like for on screenings and all that kind of stuff but in festivals it has worked really really well uh, it has uh, uh, if you 
taking into account both Spain and international festivals, uh, we have more than 105 or 110 awards. Wow. So it's like amazing, amazing. But uh, well, we have produced two short films after that, and we have we haven't been so lucky. So it's uh, I think the uh, this piece is well a real good short film that deserves uh, all all the great th- things that, that that are happening to us and to, to the short film and of course to to Rodrigo. And I just wanted to ask, uh, can you tell us anything about the feature? Uh, well, yes, I can tell you something. I can tell you that uh, uh, it's uh, 10 years after the story of the short film. Well, in fact, the short film is going to be a part of the feature. It's going to be the first scene of the feature film. And the story continues the, the story, but the feature continues the story, but it continues mostly the story of the of her of of the character of the mother yeah and uh it it changes genre uh, uh it follows her own process of well uh changing of coming alive after all what has happened of course somehow related to to what happened in the short film but well it's really something people won't expect what happens in the future 